My name is Wilson Bezerra. I'm excited right now because I have an opportunity to talk to you about a product that we've been developing over the course of nearly 21 years, a personal passionate project that started with my love for bicycles. People all across the world ride bicycles. Over 130 million bicycles are sold each year worldwide, twice the number of cars. It's a massive market. What's interesting about the bicycle, however, is that its shape and configuration has barely changed uh, over the past 100 years. We still use the basic chain-driven mechanism that was used back in 1885, a model that is not really as efficient as it could be. The inefficiencies of a conventional bicycle is no secret. Many designers have tried reinventing the bicycle, but most of these new, High-tech bicycles look strange or are too expensive, too cumbersome, or too complicated to easily manufacture. Most new designs have ended up looking more like space pods rather than the actual bicycles we are used to. The new configuration will make it easy for manufacturers to adopt as opposed to making a new bicycle which looks like it came out of a cartoon. What we came up with is a groundbreaking and starts with a revolutionary pedal system. Now, what is a revolutionary pedal system? Here is a conventional bicycle. The problem lies not so much in the frame, but in its outdated pedal system. One, a conventional bicycle has a very short crank arm, usually only seven inches long. This is a problem because bicycles move using leverage. The longer a crank arm, the more leverage and power the rider will be able to generate. We knew if we could create a longer crank arm, we could increase the leverage, thus multiply the power per pedal. Two. In addition, on a conventional bicycle, the rider must pedal in a circular motion, which is extremely inefficient and wastes in an incredible amount of energy. Three, there are dead zones in the conventional bicycle. When the pedals are at 12 and 6, and at these positions, you have to use additional energy in both pushing and pulling the pedals. When the pedals are in the vertical position, the bicycle has zero application of force. It does no work for you, so it's entirely up to the rider to propel the bicycle forward. First, we engineered a cog, a simple device that allows the back wheel to rotate at nearly double the revolutions per minute than a conventional bicycle can achieve. Second, we engineered a pendulum that allows us to move the pedal system to the rear of the bicycle instead of right at the crank arms. Now, all the torque produced by the rider stepping motion goes directly to the back wheel and there is no energy diffused at the front sprocket or through the chain as in the conventional pedal system. By moving the main mechanism of the bicycle closer to the rear wheel, we were able to attach a 20-inch crank arm, 13 inches longer than the current 7-inch crank arm. This translates into a nearly 300% increase in leverage. Then we worked on increasing movement efficiency, moving your legs less at the same time, channeling even more at your power. The circular pedaling motion on a conventional bicycle strains your joints and diffuses your force in various directions at once plus those dreaded dead zones. As a result of these drawbacks, you use only about 63% of your force on a conventional bicycle, thus wasting 37% of your energy. Now compare this to the stepper bicycle, which eliminates dead zone. The crank arm goes up and down in a stepping motion, just like walking. Thus, your physical motion is shorter and more of your energy goes into propelling the machine. Strain is taken off your knees and muscles and the direct application is now close to 93%. And as an added bonus, the rider can easily stand up at any time. How do all these engineering breakthroughs translate into the real world? On a regular bicycle, one full pedal revolution will push the rider 32 feet. Whereas on the stepper bicycle, one pedal revolution will push the rider 76 feet. This is quite incredible, unheard of, a whole new evolution of the bicycle. Here's more. Due to the increased efficiency of the stepper motion, a cyclist can complete three pedal strokes in the same time as a conventional bicyclist completes one revolution. We are convinced that in a race, a stepper cyclist would blow away a conventional cyclist using the same amount of energy. The stepper system is more than just speed alone. It also brings about a breakthrough in adaptability. Racers have been using conventional cycles which can only utilize less than two thirds of their natural ability we could be looking at a brand new world record being set and a complete overhaul of the way bicycle racing is managed. You could even dream of beating these guys yourself. Incidentally, the U.S. Cycling Federation has approved our design for use in mass start races, so you could race against them if you wanted.
The Stepper bicycle pedal system is so far advanced that it can be adjusted to accommodate any degree of desired force. What does this mean? Riding up a hill or over rough terrain is made easier than ever before. We go even further. What if you had a knee injury, or if you were disabled, or if you only had one leg? Due to the highly adjustable nature of this system, a rider can ride this bicycle with ease. It's amazing. If you're a professional cyclist, this adjustability takes you to a whole new level of functionality. You can set it up to respond at takeoff, and then sustain the momentum to conserve your energy. The Stepper Bicycle opens up cycling to a world of new riders who could never ride before and expands the world for those who are already in it. The Stepper Bicycle is retail friendly. All we have changed is the crank arm system and our split rear frame. This means that almost every accessory available for conventional bicycles is applicable to our design as well, which eases the adaptability for manufacturers. This means that cycling retailers will still be able to sell standard accessories which are their bread and butter, as well the manufacturers of these accessories. Once we obtain financial backing to construct the final prototype, we can meet with manufacturers and be off and racing. It is an exciting time for all of us and I want you to share in that excitement. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my presentation.